No, we're out here getting money and shit. We're, 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 we're finally getting rich, you know? And like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like the president of Indonesia now, if you don't, if you don't know. I used to do a lot of like comedy rap type stuff and it was just, I just did it for fun, you know? And then one day I was just like, what if I actually go on on this shit? Like actually, cause a friend of mine was a producer and he was like, let's do a song, man. Like, and then I just went to a studio, like he made a beat and I recorded to it. And like, yeah, I was just wondering like, what would happen if I actually was serious on a song? 12 in the morning, pop shells for a living and Barry don't smell blood trail every minute. 12 the police. A lot of people didn't get that. A lot of people were like, 12 in the morning, like what are you talking about? And I'm like, nah, it's, it's 12 like as in cops. Rogue wave on you N words, no fail when I hit him. Every time I see a pig, I don't hesitate to kill him. You just said N word. And I, I wanna get kind of your right. thoughts on there when you're recording it. Mm -hmm. Why do you say it versus now right. you're not saying it in, in, in that whole kind of controversy? I was like, if I have a song that, that blows up and like, I'm like this 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 kid and like I say the N-word, would people be like, holy shit, that song is so cool and he said the N-word and I think, I think I let it slide. Like that's what I was thinking and like I was basically just trying to make people kind of like less sensitive to the word and making the word, you know, like just taking the power out of that word. But then I realized like I'm totally not in a position to do that. Like I was like, I fucked up. Like, yeah, so I just don't say it anymore. Ain't nobody give a fuck about a rule. Either get diplomas over two, well I'm a cool, well my youngest no boo. When I spray in this K, it's your fuck as fuck a gang, affiliated with nothing but my name. I literally didn't have friends until like 2015, like August of 2015, because I just like went to the club in Indonesia and like met some friends and I found out that they lived close to me and we started hanging out, but before that it was like zero. I don't give a fuck about a motherfucking po. I'm a pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking door. I don't give a fuck about a motherfucking po. I'ma pull up with that stick and hit your motherfucking door. A lot of people are wondering, like, what does the stick mean? And I, you, the stick could be anything. Like, it could be, it is, it is you know, I'm, I'm aware that, you know, it's a slang for a gun. But shit, if, you, if you're talking about wooden sticks, it's, fuck it, you know, it's, it's a wooden stick. <laughs> people be starving and people be killing for food with that crack in that spoon, but these rich motherfuckers, they stay eating good, dropping waste, living good. This part was like probably the only part in the song where I was being serious. Basically that line just lets, I was just trying to let people know that, you know, bad shit happens in Indonesia too. A lot of people are like, they don't really know where I came from. Like they think I'm from like California and shit, but you know, it, it's, it's Indonesia has a pretty bad, you know, there's definitely some bad parts and I was just trying to, you know, aware like raise awareness of that holding steel glacks but you been a bit suck a thick cock fuck a crip walk hit the strip like in bangkok never ever see me ever trip by the lib bra see me on the tv screaming bitch you a damn fraud at the time i didn't you know i didn't really have a, a female but i was just like maybe in the future i will have a female that does me wrong and you know i'm gonna flex on her one day and you don't want to fuck with a trigger like me when I pull up in that Maserati, I had a minivan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really into cars, it just sounded cool on the song. <laughs> like, that's, that's just like how it is back then. Better duck for your brain splatter on the concrete. I'ma hit you with that four or five bullet hit your neck, run a bow tie, looking like a thriller feeling bitch. I'ma go right back with the clip, man. I know you be shaking, don't test me or I'ma just click at your noggin. And when I was making the song, I was just. Like, I didn't, I really did not know what I was doing. I was just like, kind of listening to like all these trap music. Like when they're talking about scary shit, I just love it so much. So I was like, I kind of want to recreate this. Like I want to do something. Like I want to have like some scary ass lines. I didn't realize like what that could do, like how people would feel about that because you know, like I don't, I don't live any of this shit. Like I'm not with the shit. The trap lyrics and stuff, like the whole like violent shit. I was just writing, you know, I was just trying to just remake it basically.